Good morning or evening friends, this is JP with Wise Guys Gaming and I'm here to talk to you about something you may know about, you may not, and that is this glorious piece of fried chaos known as Vampire Survivor. It's a ridiculous game. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I was going to say it's almost like an auto thing because you don't really control. The only thing you control is the movements of your characters and the choices that you make, i.e. what weapons you want to grab and stuff like that. Uh, this is kind of an in-game thing and just how ridiculous the game gets where there are literally enemies pouring under the screen. You make it to the end, the Grim Reaper comes out here, come take you down, because only the Grim Reaper can take you! It's amazing. I don't... Listen... So I started playing this game, I think I saw Day 9 play it one time. And I thought, huh, that's neat. And then I downloaded some, a similar thing on my phone called uh, Survivor IO, I think. And it's basically the same thing except mobile, so ads and payments and all that kind of stuff. I got this game for like three bucks. And for three bucks, I can't tell you how long I've just been trying to plot out. I don't even think I've tried to beat the game yet. Like, I've, I've beaten levels. And I've gotten better and whatnot, but I haven't, like, just flat out been like, I'm just going to beat every single level in the game. This is kind of what you're looking for here. This is what you hope for. Uh, to play the game to the point and get your character to the point where you, <laughs> weirdly, you no longer have to play the game. At this point, all of my weapons are maxed out. And I don't have to do anything. And I know you think, well, that's stupid and boring. Why would you want to play a game that you don't play? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I do not know. But I spend so much time on this. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's eating away at my soul. As you play, as a roguelite, as you play, uh, they level things up. They level the amount of enemies up. They level the abilities up. They level... Uh, like, there are things that get better as you play, which make, like, the, the first couple times you play, you probably will not be able to make it to level, to the 20 minute mark. Everything in the game kind of runs off the timer at the top. Different things happen based off what time, what, how long you're, you've survived. Uh, usually there's something at about, five, usually the first big thing is about 5 minutes, the next big thing is about 10 minutes, then around 20, I know at 25 you get the stage boss. That kind of thing. But it, it's just it's just organized chaos. And, and I work <laughs> at this game to be able to just stand still. I think at some point it allows me to do other things. Uh, so if I know there's not a boss coming in the next 5 or 10 minutes, I can literally just get up <laughs> and, and move on. You know, I can go, hey, I gotta wash these clothes right quick. And so while it's going, I left the clothes washing. And, and at least one time that has worked to my detriment because I was doing very well. And one of the stages has a trap on it where it will just randomly start raining down lightning bolts. It, well, kind of semi randomly uh, raining down lightning bolts. So I got back and I was still alive, but it was just enough time to get hit with another lightning bolt and die. Because that's kind of the way the game plays at that level. But yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculously fun. Especially once you get the garlic. The garlic is what kind of keeps you guys up off. I have an enhanced garlic right now. But. And it's just a lot of chaos. Um, there's one level that I've only barely beaten once. And literally, the end screen is hundreds of little golem creatures. Like all you see, it looks like a well, Where's Waldo painting. Just everywhere, wall to wall, little golem thing. And in the middle, your depleted life bar as they swarm you. It's so neat. I don't know why I like this, okay? I'm sorry. I just had to profess my love this game. And maybe, maybe, one day, I'll do a run through with it. Do a whole little level. I might even do it on hard. So it's a bit of a challenge and I won't, you know, AFK too much. But look at it's so cool because you can just stand in one spot and now that you got the thing that, that there's one of those things that uh, wipes out every oh wait I'm sorry that was the, the the Reaper when the Reaper comes up he wipes out everything he automatically kills you when he touches you as soon as he touches you he kills you however 
if you have Laurel, which is the shield, he has to go through your shield before he can get to you. So you can stand there with the Reaper just dancing over you. It's great. Anywho, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know if you want to see this. Don't worry. There will be more stuff coming. Like I said, I may redo this. We'll see. Either way, thanks for watching. A peace out.